Alright. This is what y'all been waiting for. Last week Slick did it. Now the person that's responsible for really doing it is back. The Coco of La Coco Sex Tips? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Coco's Sex Tip of the Week. Yeah! I am back. Back in effect. Oh my god. Yeah, by the way, you were, first of all. All right. Because all of this is part of the sex tip, y'all. So, it y'all got to So, it, it's not up. a, it, it's like a sex update, I guess. All right, go a ahead. A sex with it. update. So, I told you guys that I teach people how to suck dick for a living, basically, right? And mm -hmm. part of that was uh, this event uh, organization is called Naughty Events. Um, they had never had a black uh, playroom, you know, manager. Okay. At all, black woman played room manager, so I broke two records, and I am the first black playroom manager. Yeah, yeah. Which means that I literally help people to have sex. So mm. when we got so there, I, I had You're a team. Responsible. Exactly, I had a team of Bay Thing, of course, was there. Uh, I had Yanni and Shay, who everybody knows is oh, they were riding. The building with you? That's yes, what's up, they've man. been riding hey, since day one. What's up, my They group? definitely have since when they did the Joe said, you know, make that sure, other make, station. Yeah, on. Make sure y'all got to come yeah. back. Yeah. Too, man. Come and back so too. they went to Vegas with me. We showed out. We did an excellent job. We set up the playroom. So we were the ones who set up how, you know, your, your, your oh, environment. Yeah. We had the group playroom was where okay. everybody had group sex. Okay. We had miniature playrooms where people had group sex on the smallest scale. We had the bisexual playroom. We had the. Oh, I so wish you were I, definitely group. Y'all were grouped off. Like yeah, we had the dark room where anything goes in the dark room. Okay. Um, we had the singles room for our single men and everything who just okay. found people you know that they wanted to play with. They they got yeah. to play with that. Yeah. Um, and we had the cuddle room for people who just want don't want penetration but they wanted just the cuddle. We had our of course our oh, sex they had dungeons. A cuddle room. Oh, that's cute. Yes, our sex dungeons where, you know, you suffocate people and all this other stuff, waterboarding, that type of stuff. Okay. Yeah. He, he like, okay. okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And I, I wanted to be okay. now. And it was an excellent time. It's for sexually free people. Okay. Now, if you're one of them people that's like just a perv or whatever, you will get called out on your shit. Right. I ain't gonna lie. If you just one of them people that's like, man, you down to fuck or what? I'm gonna yeah, feel yeah, played. Not you know, that's not your, not that's not your speed. Yeah, that's not, not your... Your uh, area or whatever. It's but more controlled area. More it's a lot con more it's a, controlled. It's a controlled sexual yes, environment. Yes, and it's about consent. The biggest thing is consent. Are you know, wore shirts that said "ask first. You know, so that meant for men as well. Like you, you can't just walk up like I do with mine and just grab the dick every time. You can't do that. You there know, you it's go. for people who there are like, well, what's wrong with that? There dick? you go. You know, but in, in this environment, I was supposed to ask first. I said supposed to because I didn't do that at all. Um, people were asking him to like sleep with him and everything. It threw him all the way off. This was the first <laughs> event that he's ever been to. I mean, it was a hot Jamaican chick that was there and he was like, babe, she look kind of cute. I was like, go holla at her. He was like, wait, what? Go, go all, talk to all, her. He was all thrown off. Yeah, go see if you could. It just so happened that that same night I was about to be put in jail, so he had to stop, you know, flirting and trying Aww. to fuck her. Yeah, and come save me. But yes, it was. It, it, it was it, it was a magical experience. We call you guys muggles now. That's the new word. Muggles. That's people who are not in the lifestyle that aren't magical. So it was in Vegas. It was at the Lexus Resort uh, Hotel. I went on a. 500 foot zip line and all the above. So so we got a question from Reva. Reva said Coco got ass? Put question, question. Did question. I get you mean like do I have ass? Because I got a lot of ass. That, but. That, yeah, I think that's what she asked. <laughs> she got ass. I, or am I she did I have, have sex? She never I don't think she, she's a, she's never seen You've never seen me? She's never seen me. Oh yeah, baby, I got I got ass. You gotta look at some of them pictures. But <laughs> I got ass and titties. But um no, uh, did I have sex? No, I was too busy helping everybody else have sex. It was, it was a, I, I, it was a great time, but it was stressful. You know, yeah. I was literally like the captain of that situation, and my team they executed greatly. They moved fastly. Ken lifted Ooh. almost every 
beam and everything else that was around there. You know, like we we went above and beyond. That's what's up, man. You know, to represent for New Orleans. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. what I need you guys to do is this is thing called NaughtyEvents.com or Naughty, Naughty Events. events. You gotta yes. give it that. Give it, give it that information. Right. So I need right you to Here we go. It. Right? NaughtyEvents.com. Now, New Why Orleans people, it to it's going to be a little cheaper for some of y'all because you do not have to stay in the hotel. Right. But in the in, at the end of July, I think Yanni said it was like July 22nd. Okay. Yeah! You guys have the opportunity to purchase passes and everything. They're trying to be a little bit more inclusive than exclusive, you know, with the lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, we are a very private organization. I'm not going to lie because we don't have time for a lot of people's bullshit. This is a sexually free atmosphere, STD tested atmosphere. Like we legit take our business serious right. and we are all about confidentiality. I'll be so there. If you are about that, on top of that, that's the reason why a lot of people are like, well, why lifestyle club so high? Because we know you can't afford to go run your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's the way and I guess look at what? It's I like, was $100 for a VIP membership at Colette's. It's $100 for a VIP membership at Privé. Um, and I think Naughty in New Orleans is anywhere from three to four, three on up, hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, for you to attend that, they have the sex seminars. They have seminars which, like, I uh, helps be on the panel for, like, jealousy in the lifestyle, the introduction into the lifestyle, uh, being queer by, and I forgot the last one, in the lifestyle. Uh, but we're trying to be more inclusive, so we're we're, we're trying something new. This is the first time that a lot of African Americans have even really been a part of the lifestyle ah, because of that. Like. Because remember, black people at one point in time were their fetish. That's why you have ebony on porn and yeah. you have BBCs. Yeah. And so we're trying to move away from those stereotypes and be more so as we're just people right. that enjoy sex just the way that any and everybody else does. So don't, if you want to fuck it up, stay away because I will be right there and I will have Shay with a flashlight in your face like Condom Creek. And get your ass escorted off the premises. Oh, no. That's the reason why I do not talk about what organization too much that I'm around or I'm a part of because I don't have time for the extra shit. So naughty, naughty events. Naughtyevents.com. Dot com. <laughs> they have the cruise Orleans real soon. Yep. They have the cruise and everything yep, else going on. So go ahead on and Google it. It's and naughty in Mexico coming up. There's naughty in New Orleans. That's the big, huge swingers convention that's going to be down here mm -hmm. in July. And then you have naughty in Mexico in November. You have uh, naughty cruises, which is going to in, uh, Europe, which we're going to be pretty much a part of all of that. So if you're looking finally to meet Black Coco, that's the sure there it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. I gotta save my money for that. You might actually fuck me. Pay your money and you might actually fuck me. Oh, you wow. know what? I must have there's to put on $300. There's, there's a, there's, the, the young lady said, let me see. She wants to see your ass, Coco. What the hell? Yeah, the young lady is requesting to see your ass, Coco. I like sex and And ladies. she also said, I like morning sex. <laughs> So the young lady, she asked if Coco has ass, and now she's requesting this to see. This is interesting. I thought I was a mm, That's very, very interesting. Mm. Okay. Uh, I was told to tell you to so, go to my Instagram page. So it's black.coco. It's it? B-L-A-C dot C-O-C-O-A. And you can go and on you page, can go and, and, and answer for yourself if I got ass. And you can also go to her page page. Uh, that's right. Pair to see a page. That's right. That's what I call it. Pairs, see see pairs. Pairs, no, I, I shut that down. IG. Oh, you did? I did. I shut oh. my porn site down for a little while. Oh, all right. Well, I got just, a man, y'all. So just go to IG, you know, man. Just go to IG. Up. Just go to IG. Just go to Instagram. Go to IG. Go to IG. That's yes. what I'm saying. All right. Here we go. Or my website, like Mike reminded me. Oh, yeah, yeah. The website. website as well. 